Howdy folks and welcome back to deadpit.com. I'm the Creepy Kentuckian here with you again. We're going to take a look at a series of nature gone wrong movies. Nature run amok movies. All these are in the mid to late 70s. The first one up from Kino Lorber, part of their Studio Classics line from 1977. It's Tarantulas, the Deadly Cargo. With the popularity of Jaws from 1975 still fresh in the mind of producers, they see dollar signs in their eyes and they're thinking, well, what are some more animals that people are afraid of? Which ones could we do, right? So Tarantulas was one of those. They've scared many middle-aged women for decades. These hairy, creepy crawlies. The fine folks over at CBS debuted this in December of 1977 to scare the bejeebies out of the audiences and hopefully get some high ratings. And uh, that was that. But who would have thought that 45, 46 years later, we would be getting a, an HD remastered version, 2K, on Blu-ray disc. And that is exactly what we got. Kino Lorber Studio Classics. They are releasing a series of these. All of them are TV movies. And they have all got some interesting shit in them, for sure. From director Stuart Hagman. I don't know if he's related to Larry, but that would have been cool if he was. The movie starts with these entrepreneurs, Fred and Buddy, played by Howard Hessman and Tom Atkins. Yes, the Tom Atkins in an early role. They have got thousands of pounds of these Colombian coffee beans that they need to get back to America so they can make some money, right? And the locals, the South American questionable individuals with machine guns are like, hey, we need some sort of export fee to let you guys out of the country. Meanwhile, they're packing up all of their beans right, onto the airplane Little do they know that there's a deadly cargo on board, okay? Which into the description, it's hundreds of hairy, venomous tarantulas. And in reality, you only see like two, maybe three on the screen at once. Once they get in the air and they have like three stowaways that are in the back, that uh, are going to the U.S. with them. The creepy crawlies kind of come out and, you know, sink their teeth into the victims, causing a plane crash. The plane does crash in a small California town that uh, yeah, they're all about oranges and picking oranges and everything. And the spiders get loose amongst the town and chaos and just insanity ensues with these evil tarantulas that are looking to kill off the entire town. And um, yeah, that's pretty much tarantulas, the deadly cargo. This movie is like, it's ridiculous in a lot of ways. Uh, there is some real spiders in this. They also have some dummy spiders too. There's a lot of familiar faces in this. The kid that was in Deadly Friend is in this as a very young boy. Pat Hinkle, who I've seen in I don't know how many different Westerns and stuff like that. He is in it as the sheriff of the town, the one that finally discovers that, hey, it's these spiders that's killing people off. It's well made. It looks, honestly, it's filmed kind of like an episode of like the Waltons or something like that. That's what it instantly reminded me of. The problem with this one is to me is like, how do you make these little spider? I mean, they're big, they're big spiders. For spiders, they're big, but they're not that quick. And as far as I know, there's no such thing as deadly tarantulas. 
I had looked up their venom. They do have venom, but it's about as much venom as a bee, as you get from a bee sting. So they didn't really, if they did, I didn't, I didn't get that, that it was like some sort of new mutated tarantula. They didn't mention that. It was just a regular, you know, hairy tarantula. And usually in movies like this, is it's a, it's a gigantic tarantula, right? Which would make a little bit more sense. No, this one is just regular tarantulas that are loose and going around and biting people and killing them off. And never do you really feel um, terrified by the, the tarantulas. It's not scary at all. It's kind of goofy. It's not, it's not terrible though. I'm not saying like it's bad, but it's just a different time. It's interesting watch. The first half of the movie with um, Howard Hessman, who you'll remember from WKRP in Cincinnati, whenever I see him, that's what I think of. And Tom Atkins, like, it seemed like those guys, even then, they carried that part pretty easily. Um, so I don't know if they were kind of miscast as those characters. They should have may maybe had more of a larger role in Tarantulas. But uh, they did a great job. And then really, once you get away from what happened with them and on to the characters from the the town, it's not as interesting. I mean, there's nobody in the movie that's really that great. King O'Rourke's edition of this is really, really awesome. Um, I'm thinking this one had a DVD release before. It's the very first time it's been on Blu-ray. Kino does a freaking killer job with these releases. The Studio Classic line comes with the slip cover with new artwork. Vince Evans is the dude that does the artwork on this. And this is on the slip cover and the inner sleeve cover as well. Kind of a basic edition there. Uh, this Blu-ray is uh, full frame, 133 to one aspect ratio, TV ratio. It does include an audio commentary on it by the Made for TV Mayhem podcast, hosted by Amanda Reese, Dan Budnick, and Nate Johnson. There you go, guys. Tarantulas, The Deadly Cargo from 1977. It is out now. Check it out and check us out over at deadpit.com. Give us the thumbs up. Off you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a if you do. Or I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. Let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to touch nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you dare yeah. touch it. Thumbs up subscribe and click that bell before this video officially ends old curly jaws has a message for you go on over to shop.deadpit.com and go look at their team public store right now you got some new shirts like the old curly jaws official t-shirt which is brutal and badass you got the gummy gummy shirt the captain himself on the shirt. The people. You got Uncle Bill's face on a fucking shirt. You got the final girl shirt. You got all these shirts over at chop.deadpit.com. Get them before they're all out, especially the new one, Bedtime 1039. It doesn't get better than that, so go on out. Check out these shirts at chop.deadpit.com. Go look at their team public store. You're going to have a good old time. Get them all. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears start at only $1.